Hello there. Are you a disabled person who uses the internet? Then this video is for you. Shout out to Firefox for sponsoring this video. I have a few questions for you. When it comes to accessibility, what internet browser do you like to use? Or what internet browsers do you think are accessible? Do you know of any accessibility features in the browser that you are using? Obviously, I'm someone who's been talking about the importance of accessibility on the internet, right? From mostly captions for deaf and hard of hearing people like me, and otherwise, to image descriptions for blind and visually impaired people. That doesn't sound like a lot of variety when I put it that way, does it? But the the internet is used by so many people nowadays. For a lot of people, especially disabled people, it's how we find jobs, or it is our job. It helps us do research on topics we want to know about and helps us out with necessities in life. I mean, getting a job or starting my own career wasn't possible until I used the internet to my advantage. And because of that, it's important to make browsers as accessible as possible. Because what's accessible for me might not be accessible to another disabled person beside of me. So Firefox, made by Mozilla, a not-for-profit, came to me and told me a little bit about their accessibility features and what if I told you that Firefox has a lot of accessibility features in the browser. In fact, their message is that Firefox is made for people, not for profit. But first, let's Back it up a little bit to when its parents birthed it back in 2002 as the original alternative. It was a browser created to be open to innovation and competition, meaning that anyone could come in and change it and improve it if they so wished to. So already they were doing things that other browsers don't really do. And in 2017, wow, it's really, it, it's really been that long. It looks like it's still 2007. In 2017, Firefox made some major improvements to keep it more reliable and to stop it from crashing, which is great because we all hate it when our browsers crash in the middle of something important, right? Firefox launched Electrolysis, or E10s, where it took up less memory than Chrome and had some pretty awesome ways to keep your stuff private. Now back to the accessibility though. To sum it all up really fast, the list of features looks like it caters more to people who are blind or visually impaired and uh, those who have limited ability to use a keyboard or a mouse. So if you fit into those categories, Firefox just might be for you. With that said, anyone can use these features in order to make an internet experience easier or more efficient. You obviously don't have to be disabled to use them. So let's go ahead and talk a little bit more in detail about these accessibility features, shall we? If you're someone who has limited mobility and can't use the mouse or trackpad a lot, Firefox has keyboard shortcuts that you can use to get around more quickly. For example, in the navigation, there are shortcuts for back, forward, home, open file, reload, and stop. Of course, it doesn't end there. You'll find shortcuts for the current page you're on, editing, searching, your history, and more. A link to all the shorts will be listed in the info box below. For blind or visually impaired users, you can have the ability to change the font, font size, and color. So if there's a font or a color that you see better than others, you'll be able to use that feature to your advantage. Background color can also be changed. Also, for blind or visually impaired users, as well as those who may be learning disabled, you may be using a screen reader, which allows the text on the computer screen to be read to you. This is why you might see some of us on social media writing a caption explaining what the picture is. I know some people have been very confused by my captions on Instagram. I've been asked, why are you writing what the picture is when we can see it? My blind friends are the reason. Anyway. So, Firefox has a list of screen reader software it works with, which includes VoiceOver, Proloco, Web Anywhere, and a screen reader add-ons for Firefox. Also, the zoom option, which makes web pages bigger, is there if you need it. More detailed information about the things I just talked about will be available in the info box below. Accessibility on the internet is very important, and I'm glad to see that Firefox not only has the accessibility features, but has what their accessibility features are listed so you don't have to play the guessing game in order to figure it out. If you need to go back over any information or want to find out about all the things they have to offer, all the links of information that I have will be listed in the info box below. Also, a link to download Firefox will be in the info box, so make sure you check that out and give them a try. I mean, Joseph Gordon-Levitt talked about Firefox a little while ago, and if you're a fan of him, why wouldn't you want to use something he uses, right? Are you a Firefox user? Or if you're disabled and you have little tricks that you use to get around the internet, let me know in the comments below. If you want to follow me on all my social media links, that will be down below. If you want to help support my content, you can do so by being a monthly patient on Patreon or you can leave tips on coffee. Both links will be down below. I upload every Monday and Thursday and I will see you later. Bye.